In this video tutorial will explain how to use the regional plant lists in the vegetation module of the wetland determination data forms. So as you can see here, I already have a data form open to the vegetation section as indicated by the vegetation tab here. So the first thing to note with the regional lists is that based on your data point location, the GIS data automatically populates this regional list. So based on our GIS data right now, we are in R0 but you always have the ability to change your regional list, although it is not recommended as your data point lies within this region. So now that we have our region selected, we can look at the plant lists. Now the way the plant list works is that there are three colors. We have the green, the gray, and also a yellow color, which will be explained later. So all plants listed in green are plants that exist within your region. So if I click on this plant, I can see that I get the indicator status, and I can enter in the absolute cover. Now, for plants that are in gray, it means that the plant is on the list, however, it is not in your region. So you still have the ability to choose this plant, however, you will get a notification that it is NI or NO, and thus will not be used to calculate hydrophytic vegetation. Of course, you can always change the indicator status of any plant. So I'll enter in an absolute cover here. Now the third color, which you do not see in the plant list at the moment, is a user-defined plant, but you can watch the user-defined plant video tutorial to learn more about that. Now a last thing to note with the plant lists is that once you have opened up the drop-down, you have the ability to type in the scientific name of any plant. So here I can type in Junkus, and now my list filters to just plants that have Junkus at the beginning of the scientific name. So as you can see here, I have a number of plants which are junkish species, and a number of them are green, which means that they lie within region zero, while another number of them are also outside of my region. So that wraps up how to use the regional plant list and the vegetation module of the wetland determination data forms in CoreJD.